and gentlemen, welcome to your fine beautiful faces. I hope you're well. Welcome to another quick little battle bomb video. I've had a few questions regarding this in terms of loadouts, the marketplace, i.e. the packs, and some of the gear. And well, as you can see, I've got a decent amount of gear right now, so I can actually show you some of the stuff. So if you look on the left, you can see the loadouts. So right now, uh, you can see four possible loadouts if we scroll down. You can also see that we can actually go up to six right now. And I can buy an additional loadout if I wanted. Uh, the only thing is, it costs 3,000 credits. And, well, I don't really have uh, credits. Because if you look at the top left, I actually have 800. I just bought myself another gear bank slot. Hence why we've got all these unoccupied slots right now. Mainly because I, I ran out of space. <laughs> so, if we look on the left again, we've got uh, loadout 1 and loadout 2. Currently, these are literally just anything that I've thrown together. They... they have no purpose in, in if I'm being honest like they don't seem to really benefit me other than loadout 2 loadout 2 seems to benefit me a little bit I need to do a little bit more theory crafting I need to learn a little bit more about the gear itself but it doesn't stop me showing you guys so um, as you can see here I'm gonna call the purples epics mainly because his actual true name escapes my mind right now so I'm just gonna say epic so I'm gonna go with a normal RPG um, or MMO, whatever you want. So, purples are epics, whites will be uncommons, and the blues will be rares. Straight off the bat. There we go. So, with this epic right here, this purple one, as you can see, 4% movement speed and 7% sprint speed. Well, to me, that is a must, regardless. Because, well, the faster you can run away from the mobs, or the trains, or the bots, whatever you want to call them, or even the enemy players, the better, in my opinion. The only thing is, the gear actually cost shards to activate so i've got this item here on the loadout but how do we activate it well if you look just underneath the description it says 770 activation cost so you need 770 shards within the game or within the match whatever it is that you're playing whether it's pve or pvp to activate it but once activated it will remain the entire duration of that game so if we look at the uncommon as in the gray You'll see that the activation cost is a little bit less. It's 321, but that one is 8% critical hit damage. If you go to the rare, the blue, 695. So you can see that the different the different categories um, increase or decrease in the activation cost in terms of the shards. But the one thing that is an actual kicker, and you need to really remember this, is if you get a legendary, it'll be like, yes, I've got a legendary, great. If we look at the pacifier, for example, 1,800 shards. You can see there, 1,800 activation cost. Now, this one, the pacifier, you can actually get by doing the story mission that um, relates to Isaac. So, you unlock Isaac, and you also unlock the pacifier, which is pretty badass. You can see there, 8% attack damage and 83 maximum shield. Damaging enemies lowers their attack damage by 5 seconds. Which is pretty badass if I'm being honest. But there, there's some amazing, amazing legendary ones. Like look at this one that I've got as well. Plus 2 bonus shards per second. Plus, or should I say minus, 4.2 cooldown time. Everybody loves a, a reduced cooldown. Everybody loves a reduced cooldown. I don't even care what kind of game it is. If it's an RPG, an MMO, or some form of crazy fantasy game, or something, whatever it is that you're playing, and you all have the ability to reduce the cooldown time, you're going to take it, let's be honest. But, um, look, there, there's so many different ones, like sprint speed, skill damage, cooldown time there as well, heal power as well. Heal power would be really good for, obviously, the healer, so Miko, for example, or even Amber. Amber is a pretty good healer. I like Amber. You've even got bonus shards on those, and this one here, damage reduction, movement speed, and, well, if you want to create a loadout, you just simply drag and drop. Look, oh, I've already used that one. Just simply drag and drop. It's that simple. If you want to change any of these at all, just drag another one and drop it in on top of it. Absolute freaking doddle and obviously you can sell the ones that you don't want or you don't require so for example if we just take this one like we can sell this one as well and it'll give you are you sure you wish to sell this yes i'm sure and if you look underneath it'll give you a credit so that one would give me 10 credits back i guess i'm just gonna say credits because again the the name for the actual currency eludes me right now for some bizarre reason oh god i fail so that that's that one save loadout no i don't want to save it but as you can see here we've got a battle pack so well actually we've got a couple so we've got a couple of uh, commons we've got a rare and we've even got a legendary one that we need to open 
But we can also buy. So if you look here, look, we, we can actually buy some. And some of these here, look, actually require a rank or a level, whatever you want to describe it as. But um, it all relates to, uh, well, I guess the character or the battle bonds or the factions that you really want to play. So, for example, you've got rogues, you've even got the LLCs, the genera and uh, the UPRs or even the Eldred. I always forget about the Eldred. I do apologize. I always forget about it. I don't know why I just do. But if we open them, this is what you're greeted with. And I like this. I like this a lot. I like the fact that it gives you an aspect of, oh, what am I going to get? Like, ever since CSGO, everybody has been obsessed with loot packs. Let's be honest. And if we just open it again, it, it's, it's, oh, it, it's the excitement of, is it going to be something good? Or am I just going to get absolute rubbish? And the best thing is, you can use in-game currency, which I think is absolutely amazing. Like... There's nothing better than opening up loot packs with in-game currency. And what was that that we got? Oh! 0 0.8 second shield recharge delay. Oh, okay. That's pretty decent. So it reduces your recharge delay. That, that, that is a good one. That's the first one I've ever seen of that. So you can see, I'm still finding new gear stuff now. Oh, damn! Minus 16 recoil. Holy crap! I didn't even notice that one either. Jeez. But let's see what we've got here. The Rogue Commander one even. Oh! As you can see, we have unlocked... Is that a taunt? I think that's a taunt we've unlocked. And that looks like a skin. So, we've got two pieces of loot. We've got... I'm pretty sure that's a taunt. And I'm pretty sure that could be a skin. I'm not too sure. Was that Toby? It looked like Toby. Shall we go and have a look? Let's go and have a look and see what we've just got. So, we've got Appearance. It was a skin. Oh, damn. Toby, you be all purple and shiny. Oh, my God. But as you can see, it's not just gear you can get. You can actually get the skin. You can actually even get some taunts. I'm pretty sure it's a taunt. Let's go have a look. Let's go and see, uh, find uh, Rayna. Um, where are you, Rayna? There you are. Appearance. Um, Gotta get down. Oh, damn, Rayna. Look at you doing the splits. Yeah. But there you go, guys. Anyway, there's a quick sneaky peek at some of the gear and some of the stuff that you can get. And I, I like this aspect of it. it. If you can kit out or create a loadout specific to your battle bond with everything down to the T. If you're great at theory crafting, I know some people love theory crafting out there. Like, this is going to help me do this or this is going to help this skill. And... Um, you are really going to enjoy doing this and try to find that BIS or best in slot piece of gear. Everybody loves a biz, let's be honest. But guys, I will see you later. Look after yourself and um, I'll see you in another Battleborn video maybe. I don't know. Take care anyway. Look after yourself, guys. Bye-bye.